So after Sunny Acres Farm being a bust, coming here to Safari Land, I know that we're good to go with this one. I heard about this one. This is the Wisdom uh, Junior Coaster. It's like 22 feet tall. And I've heard it's pretty good. So I think I'm actually gonna buy two rides on it. So now I just gotta find out where it is. Yep, here it is. Tiger Terror. I've heard that the back row is the best on this. Oh yeah, love the setup. Uh, out of my seven new coaster credits of the year so far, this is easily my favorite. It's got cool theming. You got the main drop there is kind of tilted, almost like the Beast's second drop. And just like the Beast, you get some violent laterals at the end there, especially if you're in the back car. I think the front car gives a little better airtime on that airtime hill, but the back car gives the strongest laterals. So I would say just try both. Do the front and the back, buy two rides on it. If that's all you're doing is doing paper ride, buy two rides on it. So even though I spent hardly any time in here, I highly recommend it. Tiger Terror, that is a hidden gem here in Chicago. That beats a lot of the coasters at Six Flags Great America. Well, maybe not too many. It beats their junior coaster, it beats the little wooden coaster, and of course it beats Superman, their kitty coaster. That is definitely not your average kitty slash junior coaster. That has a lot of force to it. And they have bowling in there too. Off to the left. When you consider the theming and the quality of the roller coaster, this has got to be my favorite indoor FEC. The Malibu Jacks look great, but it's just an SPF spinner you get in there. This has a high quality roller coaster in it. And the theming of this is just as good as Malibu Jack's, just different theming. You got the Malibu, California kind of theming there, and you got the Safari theming here. But in both cases, they both look great. But this has the better roller coaster.